The first of the points that the Sheikh Rahimahullah gave us is a tawheed. That before anything else, one of the great issues or the central issue that Muslims have to really look at again and do house cleaning is our, is our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's our belief, our, our tawheed. Because really, the real issue, the crux of the matter, what we say when we enter Islam is La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. When we die, we pray that we would also say La ilaha illallah. So it's the beginning of the road and the end of the road. It is what united all of the prophets, the wahdaniyyah, the oneness of the Creator. And when we say this, we do not mean only just that we believe in one God. Because the Christians also, some Christians say they believe in one God. And I came about a situation like that. I was in the Caribbean, and we were visiting a place, a, a church called Pentecostal. And we were in a debate, we were Muslims, we were dressed like Muslims, and we were delivering, a, we had a refrigerator, something we had borrowed from their church. And we got into a debate, and a crowd formed. And so some of the brothers got very nervous and they were trained in their debates like Ahmed did that school. Um, and so they said, you people, you worship many gods and you worship three and you're confused in the Trinity. And the people were confused. And so the minister came along and he heard the argument and he said, oh, no, 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 no. We worship one God. And everybody stopped. And then I thought to myself, I said, wait a minute. Who is that God? And he said, Jesus. So in their mind, they worship one God. But they worship Jesus. So they didn't see themselves as Trinitarians. They took it to another stage. And they're worshiping a man as the creator. So the fact that we say we worship Allah is not enough. We have to reconfirm constantly what we believe. And to understand not only that we accept Allah as Rabbul Alameen, as the Lord of all the worlds, as the sustainer, the cherisher of life, but also that as Allah says in the Quran, Laysa kamitli hi shay wa huwa Samiul Basir. There is nothing similar to Allah, and He hears all things and He sees all things. So therefore, if anybody comes along and claims to have any of the qualities of Allah, we reject it. If he claims to know the future, if he claims to control the creation, then we reject this because of our belief in Allah. Anyone who takes any of the characteristics of the Creator, puts them to themselves, we reject this. Also, our Tawheed should affect our Ibadah. And Ibadah is a, a broad-based term. Our Ibadah, our worship should affect even how we work where we work, the things we do, study, all aspects of life. So if the boss tells a Muslim, you can't go to Jumu'ah prayer, and Allah said um, that you should run to Jumu'ah prayer, fas'aw ila dhikrillah, wadharul bi'ah, that you should run to, to the remembrance of Allah, leave your business, that boss, in a sense, becomes like his God. Because the boss now is telling him, don't go to Jumu'ah. And Allah said to go. So who do you worship? If we are afraid of the night, afraid of the jinnis, many Muslims today, even though they computers and they're scientific, they are afraid of the jinn. If something goes wrong, they say, he put the jinni on me, the sahir. He did a magic spell. We have many people, they come inside my office and they say, Brother Abdullah, my head is hurting me, and it's the jinn is inside of me. Take him out. I said, no, brother, it's stress. You got two jobs, you're working too much. Slow down, man, slow down. There's no jinn inside of you. And so we, sometimes we're afraid of this magic, afraid of the dark, afraid of the things around. If we are more afraid of a magician, afraid of the jinn, then that magician becomes like our God. The fear is supposed to be from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not created things. So we need to constantly look at this oneness of the Creator. 
how it influences our lives in all the different areas that we are functioning in. 